Coughing, sneezing, and headaches usually make you think of the flu. But many people are suffering from those symptoms and don't have the flu at all. They could be battling something called cedar fever. Tennis reporter Brandon Richard is live with more new at five. Well, as the name suggests, cedar fever is caused by cedar trees. And what makes cedar trees unusual is that while most trees bloom during the spring, cedar trees, which resemble the trees that you see behind me, actually bloom during the winter months. And the trees produce pollen that, if it gets into your system, can cause those flu-like symptoms. So doctors say what many are actually suffering from right now is cedar fever. It's a common problem in central Texas, but as more cedar trees sprout up in Oklahoma, doctors say it becomes more of a problem here, especially since the cedar pollen can be carried long distances by the wind. But there are ways you can reduce your risk. You have to make sure you keep the you know window shut and door shut um, as much as you can, and then wash the nose. That really does help. Doctors say if you experience any symptoms we just talked about, you first want to get checked out to make sure you don't have the flu. If it is determined to be cedar fever, over-the-counter allergy medications can help. Doctors say injections are also an option. Now, cedar fever season usually runs from mid-December through the end of February. Live in Midtown, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.